ating ngayon sina 1992 Miss Universe Philippines Miss Elizabeth Beroya Hello, at 1998 Miss Universe Philippines Miss Jewel Lobato. Good morning. Good morning. Beautiful ladies. Thanks good for morning, having us here. Thank you for coming. Wala kang kupas-kupas, di ba? <laughs> Pakishare naman sa amin kung ano nang pakiramdam nyo ilang oras bago ang pageant, your pageant. So excited ba kayo? Were you nervous? What were you doing prior to? Yes, excited and nervous. But okay, the weeks leading up to that, you kind of feel like you're you're there uh, like an ambassador for for the UN because mm. everyone is counting on you mm. to win. Uh -huh. that, that's the kind of pressure that you feel. But sometimes during the pre-pageant, parang I had an epiphany. Mm. Um, you in the midst of all of that stress, parang it's just like someone whispered to me saying, you know, you belong where you're most needed. Okay. Meaning, you know, everything's gonna work out. Whatever the outcome is, it's yes. gonna be for everyone's good. Yeah. So after that, nagrelax na ako. And mm. when I relaxed, it's when I started to enjoy and do better. So, medyo may konti enjoyment na towards the end. And you know, you develop friends also. Oh, oh that's true. Yeah. It's actually a mix of emotions, Lynn. And uh, because when you leave the country, you're expected to bring home the crown. That's so true. that's a pressure. Uh -oh. That's correct, uh, uh, Lisa, that during the second week, that's when you enjoy already the company of the girls. Uh -oh, uh -oh. And then you're enjoying every activity. And after that, Ito na, pag pageant na, ito na. It brings back to you the the, the country that you represent. So, oh, there you guys are. There ah. you are! <laughs> oh, diba? Ang ganda. Sabi nila, Kaya gumaganda ni. after. <laughs> <laughs> lalo, lalo gumaganda. Maganda ka na nang nag-represent ka, mas maganda ka lalo. pa after. Oh my God. Pero I just have to mention, diba, like we were talking <laughs> kanina, sabi nyo, konti lang talaga yung oras ng preparasyon nyo kasi dalawang buwan lang, mm -hmm. bago kayo sumabak sa Miss You, tsaka danalo kayo. So dalawang buwan na yun, hindi masyado mahaba ang preparasyon nyo, ha? Hindi. And the girls, uh, actually, after my, my term, mm -hmm. Miriam started to train in Venezuela. That's why we started to land already ah. in in a um, semi-finalist That was position. really a huge factor, the Venezuela mm -hmm. training. During mm -hmm. our time, talagang, you're on your own. You, you oh, go oh. with whatever you have. Oh. Yes. And uh, I think um, right now, Li, nakita ko how competitive the girls are mm. because pageants become... Um, it, it, parang stepping stone nila ito. Eh. Parang ka, ito na yung upisa yeah. ng kanilang bagong karera sa buhay. Mm, that's true. Kaya talagang ibang-iba. Ang time namin, parang friendly pa. <laughs> Ang iba na fierce. <laughs> Ngayon, meron na ano talaga. Pero meron ba, ano, ano mga un unforgettable experience nyo mm. sa inyong pagsabak sa Miss You? Well, in my case, I think and I really felt the support of my family mm -hmm. that time because um, even um, on on their own, everyone went they to Bangkok. They went to Thailand, Yes, no? oh. yes, my whole family. Well, I just have one sister, so all three of them, my parents <laughs> and my sister. <laughs> but other than that, um, the Filipino community and even some some locals, some mm. some people, uh, Thailanders, oh. were actually waving the Philippine flag oh, during so the coronation it's, night. So it's that always that like really that. We're so lucky that wherever we go, mm -hmm. there are Filipinos. That's and that yan, helps a lot. Filipino. Sobrang nakakatulong yun. In, in my time, it was in Hawaii. Mm. So talagang maraming Filipinos maraming doon. Do, oh. And the most unforgettable uh, experience ko was, I was the first to arrive mm. in that country among all the other uh, 70 plus girls. Mm. And um, nag-iikot ako doon and then they were saying, you're Miss India. Do I look like an Indian? <laughs> so, yan ang hindi ko makalimutan. And um, of course, it was my first time to also go out of my country. So, uh, everything beautiful. Ang nakakatuwa is that maraming Pilipino sa iba't ibang pati ng mundo at maiingay ang mga Pinoy. Kaya pa nag-cheer tayo, narinig-narinig ng mga nagko-compete. Kaya talaga it gives us more, kumbaga. Diba? Yes. It's, it's a boost talaga. So, ngayong uh, today is the day. Ano ang tips nyo para hindi kabahan? sa question and answer portion ng ang uh, ating si Maxine. Well, I Meron think dapat, <gasps> kailangan huminga, magdasal muna. Bago siya siguro lumabas, she has to think that um, she has to listen first to the question. Kasi uh -oh. usually mga girls, when you listen, you know how to answer. Okay. May opinion ka parate. Uh -huh. um, isipin lang ni Maxine na she is there not for everyone. She's there because she's going to express what she thinks about yeah. an issue. It's, ter it's still a personal answer. It's a answer. personal. No, nobody can tell you mali yung sagot mo. Uh -uh. You just express what you think about uh -uh. the so issue. So your highest truth, you really share yes. your highest Actually, truth. Actually, it's all about you. Yeah. Uh -uh. And try not to be, try not to impress people by, by pretending to be something else or someone else. If you need an interpreter, then get one. Get it doesn't one. make you mm -hmm. a, a lesser candidate. Yan. Ito, ito na ang gusto ko malaman. Sino ang top three picks niyo. 
Ito na! Sige, let's start with Jewel. Jewel, sino top 3 mo? Very hard, but of course, Philippines, Maxine. I saw her in the preliminary. She did very well. Ang ganda. Curacao. Why? She owns the stage when she walks. May presence talaga siya. May presence talaga. And the third one is Thailand. She's also very famous in in that crowd, ah. Na sa Filipina, but she's being loved also. Bawa 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 yung mga Filipino sa Thai because they cheer sila for you, Lisa. Payback. Thai no mag cheer para sa kanya. How about you, Lisa? Okay. Um. Well, first of all, just the fact that they joined Miss Universe, just the fact that they made it, just goes to show that they're already winners. Beautiful, na talaga. Beautiful, beautiful. But no, but um, really, it. I think at this point, it's really just a matter of the taste of the judges. And based on your taste, ang top three mo ay? Based on my taste, I would say Brazil. There are just some people who when they step on stage, you know that they own the crown. Like in the case of Charlene, for instance. When she joined Bini Bini, she walked on stage. The very first step she took, she was already a winner. Next to her, well, Venezuela, because... Career. <laughs> Kinakarir Kina talaga nila. Aminin na natin. Yes. Diba? And Maxine. Maxine. Um, at the end of the day, I'm sure that uh, the support of, of her home uh, or of her countrymen will really mm. buoy her up. Yeah. yeah. Maxine is still our girl. Thank yes. you very much. Marami sa nag Miss Universe Philippines 1992 Elizabeth Beroya at Miss Universe Philippines 1998 Jewel Lobaton. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ayan mga flower boys natin. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Yan. Magandang ating umaga, magagandang mga kasama natin. Mabalik po agad ang unang hirin.